Hey guys, it's uh, Kyle here. Hello, um, chosen individuals, um, people who are not targeted individuals. Um, this is Kyle. It's March 5th, uh, 2018. Um, I just wanted to make an update video, guys. Um, not, not feeling great. Um, it's a war every day and my body's getting very, very fatigued, um, you know, dealing with this in my mind. Um, with the remote neural manipulation, the constant ringing in the ears and attacks. Uh, a lot of my defenses are, are working, they're toning it down, but you know, it's all the time, wherever I go. Um, and so, so it's really hard. It's a, it's a war every day, guys. Um, but I did just want to do an update, um, kind of, you know, letting y'all know how I was doing, um, hoping that y'all are, you know, all the, all the target individuals out there are you know doing as well as you can be with this um i did want to mention something important uh, on april 7th um operation justice it's a a bunch of ti's who've gotten together they're planning a protest in washington on april the 7th um and you can go and get more information about that at operationjustice.com so operationjustice.com um, and I think it's Tracy Bean is heading it up. Um, she's a target individual who's, who's planning that protest. I'm going to try and get out there if, if my finances kind of work out, because um, I didn't go to the one last time. Um, but so go to OperationJustice.com. They're planning a protest in Washington, D.C., and we've got to get the word. We've got to just keep getting the word out. Um, you know, I recently, and this is something I've been watching a lot on the, the Florida shooting uh, lately, because on one of my last videos, I was just like, yeah, you know, we know that the shooter was a target individual. Um, I kind of want to go back on that now. Um, I've been looking into it, and, you know, the, the, the teenager who did the shooting, uh, he was very troubled and psychotic, um, you know, when he did that, and there were lots of warning signs. Um so, you know, I, I don't I don't think that he was a targeted individual, but I, I, d I do want to mention, um, you know, I'm watching how uh, those students like, you know, everybody's mourning for that community and those students are coming out and they're got they're getting a lot of backing for their issue. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, 17 students died or 17 people at the school died. And those students in that community is coming out and they're getting a lot of backing and a lot of financial support. Uh, and, you know, so many politicians are listening to them. They're getting on media. Um, and, you know, I'm just I'm thinking like, you know, and that's a, it's a tragedy. And, and we should pray and really, um, you know, really honor those that were lost um, and, and look into that. And I know there's a lot of false flags out there. Uh, there have been false flags out there, but I look at this shooting and and I see that it's it's very real. Uh, it, the the shooting did happen because uh, I've been studying it. I don't think that the shooter was a target individual, um, but you know I, I really I see how you know how they're getting a lot of media attention. Uh, those students and the and the teachers speaking out in that community, uh, and and seventeen people died now. Uh, target individuals in this country alone are in the tens of thousands, you know, maybe more than that, maybe the millions. Uh, and we're dying every day. We're being murdered every day slowly. Um, so I don't see why we're not getting, you know, enough media support. I kind of, I understand, you know, this is an agenda that, um, that I think the top really cares about, like gun control and getting away some, give, getting some guns away from the public you know, so that's why all the media sports behind it, and that's why these people, you know, are getting so much attention. And it's a it's a national tragedy, and it's it's right in front of people's faces. That horrible event happened right in front of people's faces, and that very disturbed, uh, troubled uh, nineteen year old, you know, shot a lot of people, and nobody can dispute that. Um, you know, with our issue, it, it's it's very you know people are trying to dispute that it that it even exists. Uh, but it's a lot more terrifying in a lot of ways than what happened. And I just, you know, I've been kind of looking at that and how they're getting media attention. And we need to be doing that. I understand that um, the agendas in this country and the media agendas and, you know, political agendas kind of push that forward. 
um, and give them more support, you know, um, and they, and they should, you know, they went through tragedy. There's too many school shootings. Something has to be done about it. I think some of them are false flags. Um, this one, you know, and I, I don't want to go too much into it. Um, cause I know we're, we're lied to a lot. So sometimes I don't know what I'm looking at, but in this case, um, you know, that, that shooting really did occur, uh, those lives were lost. Um, I think maybe afterwards, um, and this is, you know, I, I need to look into it more, but I think afterwards, I think they did bring in some some actors who, you know, professional speakers and actors who were of the age of people at the school. So it was an after the fact. They had this, you know, school shooting that really happened. And then I think a lot of people uh, within within agencies that want to push the agenda said, well, we've got a crisis here, so we need to use it for all that we have. And they may have brought in, maybe, they, they maybe the students at that school are as special as everybody says, and that, you know, they had some very, very, you know, just incredible speakers. But I noticed that every, you know, person who's speaking about it, uh, teachers and students, are almost professional. It's like they were trained to do professional speaking and acting. Um, but anyway, I'm getting I'm getting way too far off on that. But I, I I don't believe my main point about that is you know I do not believe that the shooter was a target individual. Um, and I'm I'm watching how I'm watching how these speakers, these students and teachers in that community, they're getting so much financial support. They're they're getting to speak to the president and everything else because this tragedy was right in front of everybody's faces, which you know ours is not. Um, but but I I think we need to look into some of those things where where issues are getting a lot of attention and we need to like base our strategy on some of the things that they're doing. Um, and I, I just forgot like my what I was gonna say next. I'm having a lot of a lot of cognitive problems, um, and that's why I haven't been making a lot of videos because I used to be able to just speak and speak and speak on the subject. Um, even when I was being tortured, uh, you know, pretty hard. Uh, now, it, it, the remote neural manipulation and all the, the traumatizing and the NLP when I'm sleeping and, uh, you know, uh, frequencies that are affecting my emotions and, um, and my speech. I mean, my, this, the different regions of my brain, it's, it's kind of, it's taking its toll. Um, and I'm going to push through, guys, but... It, it's really hard sometimes when you feel like your mind is just blank. You want to get information out, but you just, I just don't know what to, you know, sometimes I'm like, well, I need to make a video. We need to keep talking about this. But I'm like, my mind is just blank. And I, I know that when I get on these videos that I'm going to forget what I'm about to say because my mind is just being traumatized so heavily and hit with so much remote neural manipulation. Um, but... What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Yeah, but this is this is documenting it. This is documenting what what remote neural manipulation, what uh, a lot of the stuff they're doing um, does to us. And you can look at look at some of my videos at the beginning and how I just talk and talk and talk and you know about the issue even when I was getting hit. Now it's not so easy. Um, it's been such a long fight, and I know for some of you guys it's been such a long fight too. But I really just wanted to give an update. I had something else to say um, about some issues that I've been been kind of looking into. Um, but uh, you know, we we've got to just keep getting awareness out. Um, there was something I, something important that I wanted to say about it. Um, hmm. I guess I'll, I'll remember it. You know, eventually. Um, I did get uh, you know from my Faraday bunker. Um, I did get uh, a grounding. It's like a something you plug into the wall for grounding, and it has an alligator clip on it. I wonder if I can get it on the. Let's see if y'all can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but I clipped it to the Faraday bunker, and it's grounding. Um, it's grounding the aluminum, you know, that I cover the Faraday bunker with, and it is helping. It is helping a little bit. Now, I am doing a good job at blocking uh, the strength of uh, what my attackers are shooting at me, but I still am being fired upon by directed energy weapons, and, you know, it, it is, especially when I sleep, it is a challenge. It blocks out a lot of it, but my body's still getting hit with stuff. 
Um, and it's, it's very, uh, very, very tiring. Um, as, as you all know, if you're, if you're a targeted individual, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I just wanted to give an update and say, you know, um, still fighting, uh, still got the, the appointment on March 16th with my neurologist, uh, where I'm going to try and get that, uh, diffusion tensor imaging test, that, that MRI. Um, I'm putting a lot of stock in that right now, and I'm really going to just uh, try and, you know, um, try and get the most information out of that as I can about, you know, that test, how much help am I getting from the neurologist, if it makes a difference, you know, if, if we can get it with insurance and then let you guys know. So that's kind of, uh, you know, what I'm working on right now um, besides, you know, uh, doing some some calls on TalkShoe and um, you know, trying to just learn as much information that can help us to, to get through this and to stop this program. Just been so long. So I know you guys understand this. It's, uh, it's hard to keep hope sometimes that, you know, that, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of positive changes, a lot of awareness is getting out. The, the situation has changed. My individual situation keeps getting worse and worse. Uh, besides the defenses that I use, the defenses that I use, you know, do help to give me relief, but from the outside world and, um, you know, uh, agencies and, you know, politicians, uh, you know, I'm not getting any help and I'm not getting any change from this, from my attackers brutally hitting me every day and then, uh, you know, harassment from around me and patrolling, um, you know, outside of my condo. So, so it's pretty rough, um, you know, and I know you guys understand this, just struggling through it every day, trying to think of, uh, of better things to do and better ways to convey this to people. Um, it is important that we, we uh, you know, tell people things that they can digest about our targeting. Oh, what I did want to say, it came back to me just now, um, I really worry about these school shootings, uh, false flags, and real situations, um, because, you know, this, this kind of, this school shooting, um, you know, I think a lot of our, our, our gang stalkers, uh, you know, that are, that are maybe vehicular stalking us or, you know, stalking us out in the community, um, you know, they may pin us down like the targeted individuals who are being bombarded by directed energy weapons and experimented on, um, I think that, you know, a lot of them may accept these programs and, and put us, pigeonhole us, innocent Americans who were kind of just on a lottery or maybe were around somebody who was connected to this program. You know, they may look at that kid uh, in Florida who did this and say, oh, well, you know, we're patrolling somebody like that. Where, where this kind of situation could happen if we don't patrol him. And so we're working to stop things like that, you know, while we're in our house, you know, being remotely surveilled and bombarded by directed energy weapons, experimented on by electromagnetic frequencies. That, that really, and that's my, my tablet over there making that noise. Um, that really concerns me a lot, you know, watching this because I see how, how scared these shootings make people, uh, and how emotional they make people. And there's a very, very, uh, yeah. And, and that's, that's my attackers. They went, yeah, that's my attackers doing that to my tablet while I'm making this video. They're in they infest every electronic that I have and they've been, um, you know, they've been getting into my tablet and freezing things up and stuff like that. So they're making that noise while I'm doing this video. Um, you know, thanks, thanks murdering terrorists, I guess, is what I can say. But that does concern me, you know, that, um, you know, these programs probably get more funding, like DHS fusion centers, um, you know, InfraGuard, um, these community policing uh, programs that are doing this to innocent people like us. Um, and, you know, on the inside of it, the directed energy weapon experimentation and, you know, basically doing remote neural monitoring so that they can read surface thoughts of people or get signals back, signals to and from the brain. You know, these programs might be funded even more because of these tragedies and because of people's kind of reactive, um, 
you know, how they react to these things. So, so that's a 